Hello and welcome Pisces. You are watching Thomas's Tower Reading with myself, Thomas Janak. Please like, subscribe and share. This is your March 2023 general reading. So what we will do here, we will divide the, the, the reading into three areas. It makes it easier to understand. Firstly, we will look at the overall energy for the month of March 2023 for your very sign. Before we then look at your emotional core, see if there's any healing that needs to happen, see if there's love coming in, all that kind of stuff. Before we then lastly move on to opportunities, as they present themselves to you in the month of March 2023 for your sign of Pisces, the sign of the dreamer. And it is your, your month, right? So for the, for the, for the most part. Um, a lot of you will will have a birthday, including myself. <laughs> so therefore, your energy is more about um, you you you're coming around another circle around the sun, and so you are more, more aware <coughs> at the time that your sun is the sun uh, is the sun sign or, or, or your sign sorry is the sign that is now the sign that is present right so it's always so we're currently obviously in the timeline of pisces which is you and me right so therefore um there's more attention on you and with a bit of higher e uh, energy and a bit of higher more attention you can um achieve more right so let's hope let's hope this holds true when it comes to the reading here so we're looking at the uh, overall energy number one in the month of March 2023. And what is important here is to highlight um, two things. Number one, you can expect some changes, but because not because you're, you're, you're a bad person, um, partly because I do believe that, that, that a lot of Pisceans will very likely be a bit misunderstood this month. But communication is everything. And the only way things work for you is to not take the blame if you haven't done anything. Right, um, but communication is really, really communication is really really important. That is the overall energy for the month of March 2023. If there's anything to, to talk about, it has to be done or ought to be done verbally, uh, calmly, calm and collected, as they say. And that is the overall energy for our sign, for the sign of Pisces in the month of um, March 2023. And now we're looking at. Um, your emotional core and you have Neptune, which is interesting because Neptune is the governing planet of Pisces, which means when it comes to manifesting love, you are in your strengths. Again, I already said that, that because it is the month of Pisces, um, you are easier seen. <laughs> that makes sense, right? So the point is, have a vision. Don't hide. Look at what it is you really want, but also allow yourself to not follow so many patterns, which means if you have a certain type, don't necessarily just try to attract that certain type. Who knows what's coming your way when you're more open, right? If that makes sense. So that is what I'm getting for for uh, love. Uh, conversely, if you should you be in a relationship um, and you have the term vision, you know, look at it, right? So where is this going? with a vision, you know, um, is it time to take this to another level? Is there things that need to be redirected? All these things are coming up in your emotional core. Uh, really, really important for you and us Pisceans in the month of March 2023 when it comes to opportunities. Now, that is difficult. It actually seems to be quite a heavy month, even though it's our month. Because when it comes to opportunities, we have confrontation and, and transits. So in March, maybe that's not the month where you make final decisions. Just understand there is a bit of change coming in, in how things work and what it is you maybe do. Right? Things will not always stay stay difficult. Things will will get better. Should this be a month where things are not super easy because you may put something else to rest or you're being asked not to join anymore, whatever this is, right? There's a bit of an energy here of of we're cutting back here. Um, and then you're going through transitions, which means you have to rethink. Um, how do I do that now? What is it I really want to do? But you should only focus on what you feel, no matter if it sounds doable right um remember pisces we're the sign of a dreamer you dream your reality so therefore uh, you know if you think things are possible they will be made possible right so the point here is uh, that when it comes to opportunities i don't see many opportunities coming our way i more see like making opportunities based on the fact that some things that are probably not even or haven't really worked for us 
for quite some time. Now is the time to let that go and refocus on what it is or who it is you truly are and then make choices and decisions from that point of view. Pisceans, that's all we got. You're watching Thomas's Tower Readings with myself, Thomas Yannick. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Please like, subscribe and share. It really helps the, the channel a lot. And I see you all next month. Bye-bye.